Welcome to Let's Talk Sports here on WILN. This is Rocco Patron, Part 2. Last week we focused a lot on his role as principal at Hazleton Area High School. This week we're going to talk football and a lot to deal with during his coaching tenure at Hazleton Area High School. So we're back with Coach Patron right after this. Hey guys, this is Ray Merrill for Blaze Alexander Greater Hazleton. We're talking about TNT. We're talking about trucks and trade-ins. If you've got a truck that you don't want or you're looking for a truck, we've got a huge selection of pre-owned trucks right now. We have got Rubicons. We have got GMCs, Ford Flexes. We have got a Ram Dually Diesel. If you're in the market for a truck or you want to get rid of your truck, you'll never get more ever, ever than it's worth right now. So come on down to 508 Susquehanna Boulevard in Hazleton and see why we'll give you more for the trade that those other guys won't. Did you know that WYLN News provides news updates every weekday afternoon at 1, 3, and 5 here on TV and on social media? Did you also know you can watch WYLN News on the go by visiting our website or YouTube page? Now more than ever, WYLN is your local news leader. There's no better place to shoot than Whitetail Preserve. Their skeet trap and sporting clay fields are professionally designed and all stations are handicapped accessible. Whitetail Preserve has resident shooting instructors certified by the NRA in shotgun, rifle, pistol, home safety, and personal protection in the home. Whitetail can also cater any size event, whether it be a private party, corporate event, or wedding. Call 570-455-4251 extension 1378 for more information. What's on TV? Plenty. WYLN TV 35, the best in local programming. Welcome back to Let's Talk Sports here on WYLN. I'm your host, Marty Burns. Joined once again by retiring principal and former head football coach at Hazleton Area High School, Rocco Patron. And Coach, thanks a lot for sticking with us this week. Last year, there was so much uncertainty. We had talked about it last show about leading into the fall sports, whether there was going to be a fall sports season, so on and so forth. Right. But there was one other tidbit that happened last summer and that was the naming of Dennis Bookman as head football yes. coach at Hazleton area. First former Hazleton area player to take over as head football coach, one of your former players. Your thoughts when the word came down that Coach Bookman took over? Well, I couldn't have been more happy if it happened to my own son. Uh, to have someone with the passion, the love for, for our school and for the sport uh, as a former player, Dennis Bookman, um, and he put his time in. Yeah. It wasn't like Dennis was sitting around teaching and not involved in the program. Uh, from the time he played and then came back as assistant with Mike Brennan, his whole heart and soul was in the right place because th this was really his dream. And Dennis is a perfect example of what I talk about with coaches, and that is there's a difference between being called Coach Bookman and Head Coach. Bookman and he's now the head coach which comes with a lot of honor uh, and I've always said that if you're going to take a role like a head coach in our school district that comes with a lot of honor and a lot of responsibility uh, because you now you're responsible for the entire program right uh, from seventh grade to twelfth grade every assistant coach every player everybody that steps on that field between from a manager to to, to um, your entire uh, program and Dennis appreciates that. Dennis takes on the honor uh, of that role. So he does exactly what I want head coaches to do. What's your definition of success and how you going to become successful? And Dennis doesn't just look at W's and, and L's. And let me tell you, he's going to win a lot of games. Absolutely. He is going to win because he is a good coach. But he doesn't just look at that. He looks at how am I going to inspire, 
my student athletes? How am I going to challenge my student athletes? How am I going to create lifelong relationships, lifelong memories, and make them better people in general? I want to play for Dennis because mm -hmm. he's so inspiring. And, and that's what I want as a, he's a true teacher. And he loves the game. He loves our area. He loves our school. And we're in communication all the time. It's just a very, very, very respectful uh, relationship because Dennis knows the game inside mm. and oh, out. Yeah. But he still gives me credit and, and call me and God bless him. He'll, you know, he'll ask questions, but make no mistake about it. This gentleman is going to be very successful, not just as a coach, but, but, but as, a, as a teacher, as a father, as a leader in the community. Boy, we made the right decision. We absolutely did. He had a great interview. He oh, had a great interview. Absolutely. And I'll tell you one secret in that interview. Don't tell anybody. I'm sure. <laughs> he said, You can stop the interviews right now, he said, because I, I know I could do this job. Um, and he just kind of tugged on my heart streets and a lot of things he said in his interview. But, but um, when I listen to him address the team and uh, we have our conversations and I watch him on the sideline, he represents our school, our district, our community, and our football program in a first class manner. And I mean that. And uh, I would tell him, you know, Dennis, we need to change this, you need to change that. And I, I just have no reason to because what a job he does. Mm -hmm. And you know what's important to him, Marty? I don't want me to cut you off, but I'll tell you what's important to him is family, just like we oh, talked absolutely. about. Oh, absolutely. And he'll put family first, and he will treat those kids like a family. And what you did 20 years ago, now he has the misfortune he gets to deal with me once a week during football season <laughs> as well. But during one of the shows last year, Coach Drumheller was a guest, and I asked him pretty much the same question. When you had Dennis as a player, mm -hmm. could you have foreseen him being that person to take over this football player? You know, that's a great question because you never know who's going to emerge. Who thought that Rocco Patron was going to emerge as a head football coach? I could tell you there was probably nobody on our team back in the <laughs> I put that thought that. But when you look at Dennis with, for the, the, the fact that he is a teacher mm -hmm. at heart, I mean, his profession is teaching, but he's a teacher at heart. It's not surprising that he is our head coach. Um, did I foresee it? I'm no genius, I could tell you that, far from it. I certainly didn't foresee it then, but when I look back and think about what a leader he was mm. from the start, one of the few students I brought up as a freshman, um, he was just a leader, a very, very selfless player, put the, always put the team first. Yeah, it's not, it's not hard to believe that he's our head coach when I think back now and what a success he's going to be. And they always talk about my record in those 10 years. Well, 10 years from now, Marty, you can mark this down. You're going to be talking about Dennis Bookman's record. That I'm guaranteeing. And when you look to his staff, and, and one of the things with Coach Bookman he always stresses is the history. And I think he even goes back to the, to the three schools that ended up forming Hazleton mm -hmm. area. But his staff, working with you, Coach Drumheller, mm -hmm. Coach Deal, mm -hmm. players like Coach Sacco and mm -hmm. Coach Starrick, when you see that group coming and joining Dennis? Uh, I can't help but smile. Because if you have someone like Dennis that comes back to coach, and then he's taking teammates, people that he knew that, that coached him, people he knew that played uh, for the Cougars, if you're all doing that and you're back doing uh, coaching in the, uh, for the team that you played for, that means it was meaningful to you then. And if it was that meaningful, then we did something right. Mm -hmm. And it's certainly not the W's and L's. And when you hear Dennis talk, he has those, that same philosophy. He's not going to give himself credit, but I'll give him credit. Mm -hmm. he's, he's going to put family first, and he's not going to talk about the importance that winning comes with. He's going to be talking about the importance of making everyone around him a better person. And what impresses me the most is the fact that his assistants that coached him have a tremendous amount of respect for him. Let's talk about Jimmy Drumheller. Mm -hmm. Jim Drumheller probably has coached football more than anyone in the history of our district as far as the amount of years he has yeah. put in. And Drummy has a tremendous amount of respect for, for Dennis. That speaks volume for Coach Book, volumes for, for Coach Bookman. It honestly does. So I love him. I love him as a player and as a person, and I couldn't have picked a, a more honorable individual to take over the Cougar football program because what's very important to me um, and believe me I, I uh, every single entity in his and every high school is important to me 
But of course, football has that special place oh, in my yeah. heart because I put all that time in it. 11 years in a, as an assistant, 10 years as head coach. So it's important who runs that program, just like it's going to be important to me who becomes principal of Hazenary High School. So you have Dr. Tony Constant now taking over, who was my assistant for 12 years. I'm extremely proud of the fact mm -hmm. that he's going to do it. And the same thing with Dennis. So it's important to me who replaces me. Um, and I had some really, really good people, coach for our Cougars. Uh, and I couldn't be more thrilled now that it's a former player. And a couple other players that played for you to talk about and to gauge your pride level for them. A kid like Jeff Broyan who went on to serve our country. Yes. Josh Heck, it was in the paper, I believe about a year ago, became a police mm -hmm. officer. When mm -hmm. you see kids like that step up and whether they're protecting us on a national level mm -hmm. or a local level, the pride you got to feel for young men like that. Tremendous amount of pride because we have many of our um, former players that played for me um, that did serve our country um, and serve it in so many different ways, but de definitely were in the armed forces. Um, some became, um, worked in the community, whether as teachers, um, stayed in our community as police officers, uh, so many different levels of leadership. And I know they learned lifelong lessons playing football and Dennis will continue teaching those lessons. But the, the, the thing that stands out, kind of like what we talk about through this virus, that you have to learn how to meet a challenge head on. You have to learn how to overcome adversity. And when you do that, you become a better person. And boy, football teaches that. Athletics teach that. All these sports are teaching it. And it's, it's so important. Who's inspiring these students every day and right. as their head coach? Marty, they're spending more time with their coaches than they are their own parents. They're spending mm -hmm. more time with teachers than they are their own family members because that's just the essence of the hours, amount, the amount of hours you have to put in with academics and with athletics. And that right person has to be inspiring them, challenging them, and teaching them life lessons. So as principal, you realize there's so many more important aspects to a head coach other than simple wins and losses. We're, we're always going to be judged as wins mm -hmm. and losses, but there's so much more out there. That's why when you, you have the word head coach in front of your name, you need to wear that as, as a badge of honor. Well, coach, we're going to take a break. We'll talk we need a more. Break. We need a break. Yeah. We'll talk a little bit more about some past seasons, some past players Great. for Great. Coach Patron right after this. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. It's spelled different because we are different. Physical is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. If you're tired of living in pain, if you want to move better, overcome an injury or balance disorder, or you just want to improve your strength and conditioning, our highly skilled team of medical experts will help you get back to living the life you enjoy. New mentality, new body, new life. Get physical. Follow us on our weekly journeys through the backstories of those paving NEPA toward a better future. Each night we'll dig a little deeper into the lives and goals of our local leaders. So stay tuned for the end of our news as we learn more of those leading the way. Try brushing your pet's teeth. They don't like it. It's a pain. Introducing Chew Brush, the world's first self-brushing toothbrush for dogs with a toothbrush on the inside. Watch as they chew, they brush their own teeth. The Chew Brush cleans their teeth and gums in three ways. The nubs on the outside massage the gums. The tooth-shaped openings safely scrape away plaque and tartar. And the hidden bristles brush your pet's teeth clean while they play. The more they chew, the cleaner their teeth get. Look at this before and after. In just five days, wow, what a difference. No more pain, bad breath, or expensive, life-threatening treatments. Order Chew Brush today for only $14.99. We guarantee your pet will have whiter, brighter, healthier teeth and gums or your money back. Order now and you can double it. Just pay a separate fee. That's two Chew Brushes. Order now. Call 1-800-851-6503. That's 1-800-851-6503. Or visit GetChewBrush.com. So call 1-800-851-6503 now. 
PPW Nation, get ready for the best of PPW Season 2. Join Paul Bo, E. Julius Kuyper, Alexander Bravado, Tom Mitchell, and Alex Watt as we take you down memory lane and relive some of the best PPW matches of all time. Saturdays at 5 p.m., Sundays at 10 p.m., only on WYLN. From the bottom of our hearts, the WYLN-TV35 family would like to say thank you to all essential workers for your service to our community and for keeping us safe. Welcome back to Let's Talk Sports here on WYLN and Coach as we're here with Rocco Patron. Hazel Tenere, I think, has done a great job through the years, and especially the athletic program, of honoring different teams, honoring different people. And we had talked before we came on the air. George Curry's last ever game here at Hazelton, yes. where former coaches went out and presented him with a game ball. Mm -hmm. um, I thought that the emotion that night is, cannot be compared to anything else. Oh, you're exactly right. I mean, you had an icon in our field, someone that's coming here long before I even played high school football. Uh, so I actually, when I played in high school, and I graduated from high school a long time ago, you know, George Curry was the opposing coach. Um, so to have him on our field, uh, the fact that I competed against him when, we're, when I was coaching, I actually have a picture on my wall of George's last game on our field, and I have uh, my mentor with me, Richie Matz, uh, Bob Williams, Jimmy Drumhiller, and myself, because we... At one point, we're all, we're all head coaches at one point, and it was the last time George was on that field. So, so when you're involved with athletics, and like you're talking about Dennis with the history of our mm -hmm. area, George Curry's a part of that history. Um, and, you know, it was just a very, very emotional night, very special night, and something that uh, I have great memories with, competing against Coach Curry. And unfortunately for Coach Curry, probably one of his bad memories was your third season. Yeah, we had talked about when we were off air how you hadn't played Berwick your first two seasons. Right, right. Went to Crispin Field, mm -hmm. and I often sit at Crispin Field, and I can see Quick, still to this day, running mm -hmm. on the near sideline, mm -hmm. appropriately named Quick. And you're yeah. thinking, he's gone. Mm -hmm. And then out of the corner of my eye, I can still see that white flash yeah. coming from your sideline yeah. all the way over, and we're talking yeah. about Jeff Broyan. Yeah. Brought him down inside the 10. Yeah. And it is a lesson that don't give up on right. anything because, all right, maybe they could have scored, but Berwick didn't score a touchdown. Your defense stood, right. and you got your first victory against Berwick. Yeah, the first time we played them, we got the victory. I mean, it was, it was I don't know where Jeff Bryan came from, but he just had that second burst of speed, caught quick from behind. And it is a, life, a life's lesson, you know, never give up on any challenge. But it was great to go up there. The, the, it was a big, big crowd, and we got we, the first time we played them because for whatever reason, in 2000, 2001, Berwick wasn't on our schedule, if you yeah. can even believe that. Yeah. And uh, it was a special night. And I remember uh, Georgian eventually, um, after 2005 season, actually went off the Valley West, so I yeah. got to still compete against them. So I believe we faced each other seven or eight, I'm going to say seven times, George and I faced each other head to head. And... When we started the show, I remember Tim Thompson, our late great buddy, came up to me and saying he wanted me to host the show with you. Yes. And honestly, I was a little <laughs> afraid because how do you follow that duo? And I think one of the best compliments I think we could ever get, you get people around the Hazleton program saying they love the show and they right. watch it all. Right. When you'd go to Berwick and they'd say, we love watching you guys after Coach Curry, yeah. that I thought was the best compliment. But... It, to get that show going, and now to see it progress now to Coach Bookman. Yeah, isn't that nice? I mean, we have to give WYLN all the credit in the world. Martin, you've been around a long time, and I know that your heart and soul are, is with our communities, uh, with our student-athletes. But this is just another example how 
you have a close-knit community like our own in Hazelden area, which expands now to Crestwood because mm -hmm. you cover them, expands the, to Berwick because you cover them. And that's what builds character. That's why there's so much character here because you have so many people involved that care so much about our youth and how they can be successful, how we can help them be successful, and they go on to come back and represent our community. Right. They become leaders. There's nothing better than that. And you're doing a great job. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And you did a great job as coach, and I'm glad you brought on the blue shirt because you made that <laughs> playoff run in that blue shirt. And there were some nights it was so cold, I don't know how yeah. you were out there, but yeah. that particular team, and especially player that went on to the NFL, mm -hmm. I have never seen someone on a high school football field where you could literally say, he said, get on my back, we're not going to lose, and we're talking about Nate Eaches. Just great memories. I mean, Nate's a, a, a very, very good football player, uh, but a better, better person. Um, and he, if he was sitting right here, he would be giving everybody else the credit besides mm -hmm. himself. But sp the football is the ultimate in team sport, and we know that it takes the whole supporting cast. And if Dennis was sitting here, he's going to tell you that he's only going to be as good as his assistant coaches. So it's just another example of football just giving other people credit because it takes the entire team. Whether you are playing JVs, whether you are, are a uh, second team, a third team player, because you're there at practice fighting against those first teamers, and it just takes everybody to put that program together. 2007 was a nice run for us, but... I like to think in that from the, the 10 years I was there, uh, from 2000, 2009, it was a, as a successful program that really set the path to, to future programs and it's moving in the right direction. There's no question right now what's actually in the right direction right now. And you've had a lot of assistants and I don't want to um, offend any of those assistants, but one guy that always stood in the background, but I thought did a great job for you was Coach Koskowitz. Oh, definitely, definitely. Mark Koskowitz did a great job, knows the game inside and out, grew up in a family of a coach. His father was head coach of West Hazleton, so it's, it's in his blood. Um, and, uh, and a very intelligent man. I mean, he, he teaches very high level math, mm -hmm. calculus, calculus two. Um, yeah, he was a big part of it, but all the assistants, right. uh, every single one of them, you're, every one of them played an important role. And they could be proud to be something special within those 10 years because they've, they won a lot of games. And before that, I believe that the 07 team went on that run through the Lehigh Valley. Mm -hmm. It was a Saturday afternoon. You had East Stroudsburg South come in. Mm -hmm. And I think your defense not only shut them out, I believe held them to 63 yards of total offense, something to, to that. Yeah, they played a good, that was a Saturday afternoon game. Yeah. yeah. And I think a lot of it tied into you always stressed you know, constantly I'd want to talk about offense, defense, but when we were on the show, you would always talk about your special teams. Mm -hmm. And a kid like Drew Orth was such a weapon that yes. you had. You'd score, he'd kick off and make that other team go anywhere from 75 to 90 that's yards right. to answer that score. And a lot of times that's hard to constantly have to do that. Your special teams, when you were successful, was constantly making teams take that long field. And that was such a benefit to the defense. You have a good memory, uh, Marty. Uh, you're exactly right. Our special teams was so important to us. We had Carl Genalesco was our special teams coach. And we put as much time with special teams as we did with our offense and our defense. And we knew that was one third of the game. That was going to win or lose games. And if you talk to any successful coach, they're going to tell you that you're going to be as good as your special team. So we <laughs> put a lot of time into it. And we're very fortunate. We had a lot of good players that played special teams. Well, as those seasons flown by, this episode's flying by. We're going to take one last break and be back to wrap it up right after this. Hey guys, it's Ray Merrill from Blaze Alexander, Greater Hazleton. I don't know where you're going to find a nice, good quality pre-owned truck. The word on the street is you can't find them anywhere. Um, I'm sure they're out there somewhere. Did I tell you where it plays Alexander Gray to Hazleton? And I'm sure if you look hard enough for a used truck and go to a nice dealership that has inventory, you'll be able to find a pretty good selection. But the word on the street is you can't find any. So why don't you come here to Blaze Alexander Gray to Hazleton and find out where we take the deals and have the trucks the other guys don't.
Careful, your regular old can opener leaves razor sharp edges. Ouch! You need the new Safety Can Express. Now you can pop the top off and leave perfectly smooth edges on the lid and the can. Other openers use blades to cut through the lid, leaving razor sharp uh. edges. Safety Can Express actually unseals the lid from the side, leaving smooth, safe edges. Safety Can works on broken pop top cans, dented cans, big heavy cans, small odd shaped cans too. No more sharp steel when Safety Can breaks the seal. Call and get the new Safety Can Express for just $29.99. This offer is not available on Amazon. But wait, call today and you can double your order. Just pay separate fee. We will even ship it right to your door, absolutely free. Call now. Call 1-800-317-2137 or visit safetycanexpress.com. So call 1-800-317-2137 now. Go hog wild for Iron Pigs baseball. WYLN is televising the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs live. America's favorite pastime on your local network, WYLN TV 35. See the stars of tomorrow at Coca-Cola Park. Don't miss any of the games here on WYLN TV 35. Visit WYLNTV.com for a complete Iron Pig schedule. Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs on WYLN, your home for live sports. Like and follow WYLN News on Facebook for the midday WYLN News update, posted between noon and 2 p.m. Powered by Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton, the all-new emergency room at Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton is nearly double the size. Our updated facility features all private rooms, the latest technology, and a quicker, easier check-in process. Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton, your partner in ER care. Welcome back to the last segment with Rocco Patron here, part number two of Let's Talk Sports. And Coach, we're under three minutes to go in this episode, and I know it's probably not fair in the 20-plus years at Hazleton Area High School. <laughs> Is there one memory that sticks out for you as you sit here now, former head coach and now retiring principal? Well, talking about it brings back a lot of memories. Um, and I would love to tell you particular memories. I really would. But in fairness, uh, I would say overall just – the, the fortune I had to coach these athletes for 10 years, to work with the, the assistant coaches that I did work with, to win the, the five district titles in those 10 years, I'm very, very proud of that. I truly am. And, and, and if we touch some hearts in a positive way, we made people better people today. And the fact that some come back now and give back to, to the district yeah. as teachers and coaching for the Cougars, um, that makes me very, very proud. There's a lot of great memories. Um, I was lucky to coach my son yeah. uh, and, and see him be a successful football player and successful athlete because he played baseball for the Cougars as well. A lot of good memories, a lot of fun, and I wouldn't change that for the world. I, the only thing I would change is beating Parkland when we got that field goal yeah. blocked in Parkland because we, we were going to go to the state final game. Um, but it's part of history. I, 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 my, my heart is filled with so much pride, so much joy, and it's a long time ago, but I could tell you every game that was played, every <laughs> player that played, and, the, and what we did, and there was a lot of great conversations that we had in the sideline, scouting, coaching, um, meetings before, before practices. A lot of good relationships and let me tell you we have stories that we can tell for the rest of our lives oh i'm sure i'm which sure is great so coach thank you so much for the memories as coach boatman will look into history a lot of the young men that came on your show have laid the groundwork the last couple of years we've had a lot of quality young men from hazelton area high school come on our show yes. and they've got a lot to live up to but you know from us up in the booth for my dad for coach demelfi thank you for all the memories you gave us for all those years at Hazleton Area High School. And I'm sure we're going to see you sitting next door to us uh, at Harmon Guys. Oh, you'll definitely see me. Coach. And thank you for everything. Well, Coach, thank you so much for joining us for these two weeks of memories. Thank you so much. Best of luck in the future. Give the family our best. I sure will. Thank you. So for Coach Patron, I'm Marty Burns saying so long. Join us next week for another edition of Let's Talk Sports.
You're watching WYLN TV 35.